Hi guys. You may think that there is an empty container in front of you, but it's not so obvious. There are some bloodsuckers to see which you need to look closely. There is an ordinary flea in front of you. They are so small that it is not such an easy task to film them. Nevertheless, we will try to introduce the two bloodsuckers. Or if to be more accurate, they are a flea and a leech, which has drunk blood earlier, in previous experiments. Now this anthropomorphic animal may not eat for two years. So much time it keeps a supply of sucked blood in itself. It is interesting whether the others will drink this blood, who are like the leech eat the blood of mammals. We put the leech to the fleas. There are three of them, and we begin to observe. So far, both the leech and the fleas are located at the bottom. But if the fleas prefer a static position, the leech crawls, it is in motion all the time. If the fleas don't find the leech, the last will find the first ones by itself. And it's happened so. One of the parasites is sitting on the glass, when suddenly a leech crushes it. The leech immediately smears it with slime by its whole body and then completely seals it with a back sucker. By the way, the slime turns out to be so sticky that when the leech continues its movement, the flea also has to travel. Only after a while it is lucky to stay on the glass. It's quite a funny scene, we guess the fleas will pester the leech, but it turns out that these fleas dream of getting out and even learning to swim. One of them is already at the top and is knocking at the roof. The conditions here are not so comfortable as in the animal's fur. 20 minutes passes and the leech decides to stop. Now the fleas are on the move. And finally, the flea is able to cling to a flat surface and goes along the leech. And then it jumps off. It hasn't drunk any blood like from other animals. If the fleas are harmless to the leeches, so what about ticks? As we know, this one annoys animals no less than fleas. Besides, it isn't squeamish to suck the blood of people. I remind you that there is a human blood inside the leech. Apparently, the tick moves on the glass as comfortably as a cow on ice. But there is an opportunity to see that it has eight paws. And there is a proboscis in front its face, which breaks the skin and the tick penetrates inside. Would a tick want to get into a leech? It's time to find out. Here the tick has been very close to its target, but the speed of movement fails a little. But the leech makes a circle, creeps up from the rear and smears the tick with its slime. And there is another long touch. But the tick hasn't stuck so far. Or does it prefer a different skin structure, like fleas, and a leech is not suitable? Let's look further. A couple of minutes later, the situation repeats, but this time the leech puts its whole body on the tick. You can see how its paws move and even the proboscis. Now it will definitely stick. But as soon as the leech crawls away, it becomes clear that the docking has failed again. And the third attempt is successful, the tick has jumped on the leech like a bullfighter on a bull. And we have a real bullfight. Now it is not so easy to throw the tick off. And it is in no hurry to get inside, chooses a convenient area of the skin. Finally, the tick has proved that it is a real bloodsucker. 
It turns out that it does not care if there is an animal, a person or a leech with blood inside in front of it, it will not miss the opportunity to feast. And the leech does not seem to like when they drink blood from it, and not the leech by itself. Now it knows what it's like to be a victim. Although the tick does everything so imperceptibly that it can take a couple of months before it can be detected. In our case, the leech manages to get rid of the tick rather quickly. If to be more precisely, this is the tick who has left the body of the leech. This is most likely due to the fact that the blood inside the leech is mixed with its own stomach enzyme, which prevents the blood from clotting for years. And the trick doesn't like such mixture very much. And what about mosquitoes? We have caught a couple here and have already put them to the leech. The one just immediately sits on the worm, but then flies aside. But now we can try to examine it better. Pay attention to how long its proboscis is comparing with the head and also its black at the end. It stings its victim with this proboscis attempting to drink someone else's blood. The leech is just crawling, but the mosquitoes do not notice it. Although mosquitoes, searching for a prey, are guided by the smell of blood, which passes well through the skin. According to the idea, the skin of the leech should also let in the smell of what is hidden under it. Here is the leech, in its usual manner, has already crept close to the insects, but they do not show any reaction. One even sits down densely and begins to clean the wings, then the paws. What a clean mosquito! Finally, one of the mosquitoes has saddled the leech. But what is it doing? Nothing. He has lifted its proboscis up and just sits or stands, it rests. Even when the leech starts moving, the mosquito is still on the top. Is it stuck? The leech with its slime has disabled more than one insect. Perhaps the same slime helps it to protect itself from mosquitoes. So, only one tick has been able to stick to a leech, but it doesn't like its blood. This is all for now. Bye-bye.